it is so good to see you again! Your video gave me a reason to make a video today, so thanks! Basically, what I have to say in response to your video about Eurovision is that I had no idea what Eurovision was. I mean, I knew it was a thing that happened in Europe, and um, some people that I follow on Twitter were talking about it earlier in the month. But I had no idea what it was, and I tried looking up on the internet to figure it out, and I just couldn't, like, understand what exactly it was. I knew it was some sort of contest, and that there was music involved in lots of different countries. But I didn't really understand what it was until you explained it, so thanks. Um, but I do have to say that you, comparing it to American Idol, did not adequately prepare me for what I found when I YouTubed Eurovision. Because... That is actually the craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I actually spent two hours of my morning today watching Eurovision 2012 videos on YouTube just because it was ridiculous, like absolutely ridiculous. All of the lights and the sets and the background dancers and all of the fake wind and I just, I don't even know. Like, I, I, what? Like, there was the one group with the twins that I was watching, and they're singing, and that's fine, because they're kind of cute, you know, whatever, they're doing their thing. And then there's a fountain behind them with water, and their song was something about water, so I was like, wow, that is really, that is impressive right there. That is, that is top notch, um, as far as special effects go. And then, like, 20 seconds later, fire from the ground! Like, fireworks shooting up! And I'm just like, what? And then there were the weird ones. Like, you talked about the Russian grannies, and I didn't understand. And then I watched it, and I still don't understand what that was. But all of the really, really terrible pop songs, the really awfully cheesy pop numbers, like, the girl from Cyprus, and the girl from Romania, I think it was, or some other country around there, and I, oh, it was such a good laugh. And some of the songs are actually not bad, but some of them were just like, wow. I can see why people enjoy Eurovision, because it was legitimately entertaining. I just, I don't, like, it's the most over-the-top thing I've ever seen, I think. So I think that next year, I'm going to try to find a live stream for it and see what I can do. Because that was, that was brilliant. It was so funny. I, I just really enjoyed that. Thank you, Joe, for sharing your thoughts about Eurovision and explaining what it was. Because I think that is one of my new favorite things. I don't have anything else to say. Um, nothing exciting has happened and nothing like fandom related has gone down in the last few weeks. I'm gonna be in London for the month of June, so um, yeah, I may or may not be posting, but that's fine, because I don't really have much to say anyway. Um, but I will post next week, even if I have absolutely nothing to say. So I hope that you all have a good day. Um, Joe, it was wonderful seeing you, and I hope your life is going well, and I'll see you all next Tuesday.